Hello everyone, this is Jonathan Little. Welcome to the fourth installment of my new podcast, Weekly Poker Hand, where I go over my hand and critique it for you guys. And in part two, each week, I'm going to go over my opponent's hand from their point of view and analyze what they do and what I think they did wrong, if they did do anything wrong. So in this hand, I, Jay Carshark, raises under the gun to 2200. And I think that Bicycle really needs to just fold King Jack right here. And the reason I think you need to fold King Jack is because against an under the gun range, King Jack really isn't going to do that good. You're going to find yourself being dominated a lot of the time. And whenever you do hit something like top pair, it's going to be basically impossible to fold it. So in order to, to stay out of these situations, just fold preflop and move on to the next hand. There's nothing wrong with folding a hand like King Jack. So if I had to pinpoint one major error in this hand, it is the preflop play. So we take the flop heads up. I bet 3,000 and Bicycle calls. I think this is an excellent call by Bicycle. This is a spot where raising really doesn't accomplish too much because if J card has a jack, you're probably going to get it in anyways. And if J card has nothing, you want to continue to let him bluff. So I really love the call on the flop. J card checks the turn and Bicycle decides to bet. This, I think, is another mistake. And the reason I think this is a mistake is because even though Bicycle almost certainly has the best hand, if he gets a lot of action on this turn card, he's not really in too good a shape. Um, notice he loses to pocket jacks, pocket tens, aces, kings, queens, pocket fives, and maybe pocket twos. And if uh, J card has something like ace, king of clubs, he's probably going to check shove, in which case um, bicycle's just a tiny bit ahead. So if bicycle checks it back on this turn, he may be able to extract some value on the river from all of the hands that have missed, like maybe even ace, king, ace, queen, but certainly hands like 10-9, um, maybe even the medium pairs like 7s, 8s, and 9s. So by checking it back, you'll get one street of value out of those hands. Um, but by betting, you're, never, you're really getting a lot of money in the pot, and you open up the door for J card to sort of own you whenever he does have a strong hand. So that is what happens. J Cards decides to own Bicycle. And in this situation, this is a gross spot for Bicycle. I mean, I guess you kind of have to call because you're getting pretty good odds. But this is one of these spots where J Cards range is either very exploitable, meaning it's mostly the nuts, or it's really polarized, meaning that it's nuts or air, and an air in this case is draws. And um, King Jack is obviously ahead of all the draws. So you have to sort of balance it out and figure out how many draws are in J card's range. And honestly, there probably aren't many, but the check shove does look sort of dry, like I discussed in part one of this week's episode. So I don't really fault Bicycle for calling here, but I think his turn bet in general was really bad. Notice that it made a really large pot and it's going to make it really difficult for Bicycle to get away from the hand. What he should have done is he should have just checked back the turn and then on the river, J-Card would have bet, and Bicycle could call, and either win or lose. But if J-Card checks, and Bicycle can then bet and get uh, full value out of a wide range of hands on the river. So I really think that uh, Bicycle messed up both preflop and then here on the turn pretty massively. And, of course, uh, J-Card, I had two pair, and I won the pot. So if you guys have any questions or comments about this video feel free to let me know, and I greatly appreciate you guys watching. This has been Jonathan Little, and until next time, good luck in all your games.